so I feel that we are on the right way. But it's good that we come together and approach it, so thanks to the initiative of the Anthropos Institute, bringing in the Akadeen and looking at what we have been doing for many, many years, and bringing in again our experience as <coughs> men and women, following the law in international, intercultural, religious, missionary communities. Because we as women, I think we, we perceive and experience cultural realities differently. Mm -hmm. And we can help each other to get a more holistic view of the many aspects of intercultural living. <laughs> consciousness has come to me and I am wearing a glass and each one of us from our cultural background we are wearing a glass when we come together when each one is looking from each of his cultural glass there can be clash yes yes maybe you're right because we have been living here for so long maybe it is time to get into the traditional culture of the own country well, this is called surplus reality. You're creating, you're creating. It's not really an illusion. <coughs> it's a possibility. And you have to first create it in your mind. And when you create it... Like Después de mi luna de miel, del primer punto de nuestra escala, <laughs> de nuestra flecha, después de la luna de miel, empezaron los primeros choques con la comunidad indígena. After the honeymoon, uh, then began the first difficulties with the local community. Mm -hmm. And the boy is looking at me and says, Sister, don't worry. My grandpa said, you must pray regularly. Regularly, you must see God. And another sister, but my grandpa said also, the white people, they have problems to see God. Then that was really a very uh, difficult time in the community. <laughs> So there was a reaction. One stood up and said, why did you do that? You put your cheese there and some things that smell. You don't have to throw it. And then why did you have to take our shit and throw it? <laughs>